This week, we look at the making of a core rendition of a classic novel, a local toy drive, and more. Coming up right now on SAC News. Welcome to this week's edition of SAC News. I'm Stephanie Diaz. And I'm Nicole Flores-Cruz. Thank you for joining us. We begin our newscast with a look at some local toy drives here in Santa Ana. This past Saturday, ARC Movement, a tuner car club, hosted a toy drive with cars on display at the Santa Ana Methodist Church. Tuner cars, cars that are modified to resemble racing cars, were on display in the parking lot. ARC Movement showed off sports cars such as the Nissan Skyline and an Audi R8, among others. Some even had their engines on display. The toys were collected for UCI's Health Center for Autism. There were also boots at the event giving away C4 energy drinks, donut wheels, and funnel cakes. This event, we are doing a toy drive for the Center of Autism uh, to get back to the, the kids with the autism. It's, you know, it's really for a good cause, and we have a lot of cool cars. You guys want to stop by and check it out? <laughs> You can help Santa bring some holiday cheer to local kids this season. Bring a new and unwrapped toy to Protective Film Solution dealership on December 14th. There will be classic cars for donors to check out and free coffee. For more information, visit the All Event website. The opportunity to spread the holiday spirit seems endless this year. The organization Helping Hand Santa Ana will be hosting their annual toy drive for at-risk youth on December 8th. All donations are appreciated and are tax deductible. If you would like to donate or volunteer at the drive, make sure to check out the Helping Hands website. Helping Hands has more than one opportunity to give this year. They'll soon be hosting a toy drive and throwback dance party. The event will be held on December 7th, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on the Labor's Union Dance Hall. The dance will feature songs from the 80s and 90s. Food and drinks will be also be available. And all the toy and other donations will go to benefit children who attend after-school programs. For more information, check out their Facebook page. The Santa Ana Police Department will be hosting a pancake breakfast with Santa Ana. Attendees will be able to enjoy a platter of pancakes with Saint Nick himself and enjoy holiday-themed festivities. This event will be held at the Santa Ana Police Department building on, the Satur on Saturday, December 7th, and begins at 8 a.m. Next weekend, Macy's at South Coast Plaza is holding its annual ornament making event called Merry Making DIY Ornaments. This is a free event where participants can let their creativity flow to create their very own custom ornaments to take home. To RSVP to the event, visit eventbrite.com. The Santa Ana Public Library's Adult Service Program will be offering a woodworking craft event. The event called Rustic Wood Sign Workshop will be held on Monday, December 9th. Participants can make their own rustic signs to take home. The event is free and open to the public. For more information, give the library's office a call. So to come, opportunities to scratch your itch for music here in Santa Ana. And we take a look at the writing of a new choral performance coming soon to SAC. It's always been a dream for me to be able to play like college softball. Like I never would have thought I would have been here at Santa Ana. And it really meant a lot to me when I found out I got the scholarship. Scholarship money is a huge, big asset and benefit to our student-athletes here at Santa Ana College. But we can imagine the burden that the student-athletes have. They're spending like close to six, seven hours a day with softball regarding games and traveling and things of that nature, and also be a full-time student. Out of our 22 players, 20 of them have jobs. Having to work during season is like the most stressful thing and so having a scholarship, I don't have to worry about like having a little part-time job to make sure I have food or could buy the things that I need. Now I can just focus on softball and my academics. I believe Santa Ana College has more scholarships available than a lot of the other community colleges. I didn't even know that there were so many scholarships out there. I didn't even know there was that much money out there that people are willing to help you move forward in your academic career. Our coaches really emphasize like school always comes first. To them and to me, academics is like the most important thing. Like you've heard the saying, 
academic student first, student athlete. We're pushing importance of academics. After winning this scholarship, it really helped me because I was like, okay, if I really study hard, like, I'm gonna get good things out of it. So I think it just motivated me in that aspect. I got 4.0s most of my time um, through college. I went to the banquet. I was so grateful to be able to meet the people that are actually helping me move forward. They're really in it for the students and the athletes. One of the biggest contributions that you can make to help all of the student athletes so they can go further in their education, it will help them get to that next level. We all know that the more good there is out in this environment, it's going to help everybody and everybody will benefit, especially our local community. People like me and other students who have low income families in the Santa Ana area, people who work really hard in school like should be rewarded. So I would just say thank you to all the donors because it really helps a lot of people in many ways. Welcome back. This week we've got a behind the scenes look at SAC's upcoming choir show. But first, a look at some local community events. Autism Speaks, a nonprofit autism awareness group, will be hosting one of their charity walks here in Orange County. The walk is being hosted in an effort to spread autism awareness and raise funds for those with autism. This charity event begins at the Angel Stadium at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday, December 8th. If you would like to donate or to register for this walk, visit their website. The OC Trauma Department is hosting a life-saving course on December 12th. The Stop the Bleed event hopes to mitigate the damage of shootings and will go over fundamental life-saving techniques. In addition to presenting how to save someone, the group plans to cover other survival skills, such as defining what an active shooter is. The free awareness event will begin on December 12th at 8 a.m. Please visit this website for more information on the locations and times. Downtown Santa Ana is hosting a tamale festival called the Inaugural Tamale Festival. This is a one-time event, so if you love tamales, don't miss out. There will be entertainment and festivities like mariachi, live food, and free food. The event begins on December, 9th on December 19th on 5 p.m. For more information about this event, you can visit their Facebook page. A community Christmas party will be held by a local creative studio. There will be an ugly sweater contest, a themed photo booth, food and drinks, and a raffle for those who donate an unwrapped gift. The event titled A Very Rogue Christmas Party will start later this evening at 7 p.m. in the Rogue Collective Studio and will run until 9 p.m. The hip hop dance group EOTR will be coming to Santa Ana on December 6th. The group will be dancing to jazzy and classic 90s hip hop era sounds particularly from the West Coast. This, sh this free show starts at 8 p.m. at the GSC Clothing Store and is open to all ages. For more information, please visit the group's Facebook page. Fans of mariachi music can catch a live performance on da of Don Mariachi this Friday at Phillips Hall. The student-run production will share Mexican culture and musical traditions with the public. General admission is $9 with special discounts for members of the military and children. Parking is $2. For more information about the event, visit Santa Ana College's website. Sachs Choir Fall Concert features a fresh take on the classic novel Frankenstein. Reporter Katie LeCarrie got the behind-the-scenes look ahead of Saturday's concert. You know, I had a, a sabbatical leave uh, last spring. I said, hey, I'm going to write the music for the choir's fall concert. I did think about the fact that we've got our, our choirs here. I wrote for four-part chorus for the most part. If it's a great story, if it's compelling material, I think it's going to catch uh, a lot of people's attention and, and, and tug on their heartstrings a little bit. I think writing is, is great training, even if you're not, you really don't intend to be a composer, that's not your primary focus as a musician or as an artist you still learn a lot about music just trying to get something down on paper. So I would always encourage a student who has any interest in writing to just jump in and go for it. To get tickets for Saturday's event, call the Phillips Hall box office. That wraps up this week's edition of Stack News. Don't forget to check out our Twitter and YouTube pages for more content. 